Call of People v. James Holmes, 12 CR 1522. Appearances, please. Your Honor, Karen Pearson, Jacob Edson, Andrew Sears, Richard Norman, and Carol Chambers on behalf of the people. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Daniel King, D-A-N-I-E-L-K-I-N-G, and Tamara Brady, T-A-M-A-R-A-B-R-A-D-Y, Colorado State Public Defender's Office, appearing for Mr. Holmes, who appears in custody. Thank you. Good morning. Mr. Holmes, this matter comes on for what we call an initial advisement pursuant to Rule 5. Deputy, if you could step back. You have a right to remain silent. If you make any statements, they can be used against you. You have a right to be represented by an attorney. If you could not afford one of the statutory guidelines, I would appoint one to represent you at no cost to yourself. Any plea you make must be voluntary, not the result of any undue influence or coercion. Typically, you have a right to be advised of the charges. You have a right to be advised of the charges. The duty judge has made a preliminary determination of probable cause to believe you committed the offense of first-degree murder, which is a Class I felony under Colorado law. Ordinarily, individuals are entitled to bail. Given the nature of the charges, you are currently being held on a no-bond hold. You also have a right to have a jury trial and preliminary hearing to determine whether there's probable cause to believe that you're the person that committed the offense. Mr. Holmes, do you have any questions about that initial advisement? Judge, we've advised Mr. Holmes thoroughly and we've made it available for further advisement. Thank you, Mr. King. Pursuant to CRS 18-1-10-01, we are to enter a mandatory protection order. Any violation of the protection order can constitute a new criminal offense and or contempt of court. It is the order of the court you shall not harass, molest, intimidate, retaliate against, or tamper with any witness to or victim of the acts you are charged with committing, shall vacate the home of the victim, stay away from the home of the victims, and stay away from any other location the victims are likely to be found. You shall refrain from contacting, directly or indirectly communicating with the victims, shall not possess or control firearm or other weapon, shall not possess or consume alcoholic beverages or controlled substances, and as to further order of the court, you are not to commit any new offenses. Mr. Pearson, if you would approach, please. I've just signed a mandatory protection order. If you'd tender a copy to Mr. Holmes and acknowledge his receipt on the record. Request seven charges, which are requested at this point. We are asking for an extended period of time. The 72 hours is essentially the local rule. We'll file a motion to extend the time to file the motion. Mr. King. Judge, we do not object to that. If I may approach, however, I do have an application to just complete it if I can get your signature. You may. And, Your Honor, at that time, we will also file an amendment to the protection order that lists all of the victims in this case. Thank you. The court has signed the application for the appointment of a public defender. The public defender is appointed. We'll set the matter for formal filing of charges this Monday, July 30th, 930 in this division. Thank you. 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 Thank you.